Welcome, brothers and sisters in Christ. Good evening. Welcome back to our new life series, 180 Degrees. This is Pastor Chris. And uh, last week, we uh, talked about the spiritual checkup. Are you ready for that uh, task? Maybe we po natin, Panginoon. Of course, you know now kung saan po tayo nakalagay. Saan ang ating puso, sa ating ating isip, sa ating ating kaluluwa. We believe, brothers and sister, sisters, that last week, yung ating pong discussion, it makes a lot of sense because at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, we should know if we are really, really capable and uh, doing the right way with our Lord Jesus Christ. Because if you are not healthy spiritually, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, you will never make it. Kaya po, go back sa ating pong lesson number two. And I hope at the end ng ating pong uh, lesson number three, you will realize that it is very important yung mga concept um, in terms ng ating new life 180 degrees. And today, we will tackle important lessons, amen, in which I think kailangan po ito as a preparation for evangelism. New life 180 degrees is all about evangelism. You will share the word of God not by uh, merely ano po, sharing a lot of word of God, sharing a lot of verses, ano po, yes, we must know the different verses. But again, ang nakita po namin effective na evangelism is on how you evangelize telling others about your personal testimonies. Amen. And that's how it is. New Life 180 Degrees, it's all about you. Amen. How did you encounter our Lord Jesus Christ? How did you encounter the Lord in the road of Damascus of your life? Amen. Ito po basically ang pinaka-importanting concept. Amen. But before that, brothers and sisters, sino po dapat ang ating pong hanapin? Sino po ang mga nawawala? Sino ang mga nagwawala? So we need to understand in lesson number three that there are certain people in which gusto po na mawin natin ang, uh, ng, uh, ng ating Panginoon ang mga souls na ito. And most probably you can relate, amen, uh, sa ating pong studies na ito in which I, I hope and pray na makakatulong po ng uh, marami ano po ang ating pong talakayan for today. So we will start first sa ating pong first video and then I will just uh, uh, give you some pointers, amen, and discussion further sa ating pong pag-aaralan for this uh, session or lesson number three. Okay? So ito po yung first lesson natin. What's this? The first parable. The Lost Sheep A good shepherd had 100 sheep. One of them was lost. The shepherd left the 99 sheep to look for the lost one. When he found it, he was very happy. The shepherd carried the sheep home. He called to all his friends and neighbors to come and be happy with him. He had found the lost sheep. Jesus Christ told the Pharisees what the parable meant. He said that those who sin are like the lost sheep. Just as the shepherd wanted to save the lost sheep, Jesus wants to save those who sin. Jesus said that was why he was talking with sinners. And just as the shepherd was very happy when he found the lost sheep, Jesus is very happy when we repent. Amen. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful concept. Amen. This is our master's voice, yung pong parable of the lost sheep. Amen. We once like this sheep, brothers and sisters. We were lost in the truck. We were lost in the wilderness. We were lost in desert. We were lost sa ating mga buhay. And apparently, brothers and sisters, ang sabi po ng Bible that Jesus Christ was looking after sa mga sinners. Amen. Sa mga sinners like me, like you. Amen. Well, basically, we were from darkness and it, it brought us into His marvelous light. Amen. And this is what new life, 180 degrees. Inahanap po ng Panginoon ang mga nawawala. Amen. The lost sheep, basically, ito po ay typical na nawawala. He was not aware that he was lost. Amen. Though sometimes, brothers and sisters, in contrast dun sa the parable of the prodigal son, yung prodigal son, siya naman po yung nagwawala. Amen. Siya po ang umalis. 
siya po ang na lumiis ng kanyang landas because of his choice. But in the lost, co uh, lost uh, sheep, brothers and sisters, it's totally different. Amen. So let's again uh, analyze and study the word of the Lord. So the parable of the lost sheep and the parable of the lost coin. This uh, was taken in the book of uh, St. Luke, chapter number 15, verse 1 to 7. Let's see. In Luke 15, verse 1 to 7, Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. So imagine, brothers and sisters, mga publicans and sinners, they are really thirsty and hungry for the word of God. We once like this, brothers and sisters. Lahat po tayo uhaw sa salita ng Panginoon. Yes, we did some mistakes, we did some stupid things, brothers and sisters, but in the end, there is hunger deep in our, our hearts that we are longing for the Word of God, right? Kahit po tayo ay nakakasala during those times, nakikipag-battle po tayo against this world. But new life, 180 degrees, brothers and sisters, inahanap po ng Panginoon ang mga nawawala. And sabi nga po dito uh, sa parable na ito, marami po ang mga publicans and sinners who want to hear Him. And the Pharisees and scribes, they murmured, saying, this man received sinners and eat it with them, and spake this parable unto them. In verse 4, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, that not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he had found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. Verse 6, And when he cometh home, he called together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my ship which was lost. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented. More than one ninety nine and nine just persons which need no repentance. Amen. What a powerful word of God. Amen. This is it, brothers and sisters. One ship he lost. Amen. He was not cognizant. He was not aware that he was lost. Amen. And then yung pong shepherd, brothers and sisters, when he was counting the sheep, meron pong nawawala. Amen. Hindi po yung sheep ang naghanap sa kanyang master. Ang mismong shepherd, iniwan niya yung 99 at inhanap po niya yung isang sheep. Amen. So try to think of this, brothers and sisters. The Bible says, isa lang po ang mag-repent, isa lang po ang tumawag muli sa Panginoon, manumbalik sa Panginoon, thousands of angels are rejoicing. Amen. And that's how God works in our lives. Tayo po dati mga sinners tayo, brothers and sisters. But when we found the light, amen, yung light which is the source of life, which is our Lord Jesus Christ, everything, ano po, turned upside down. Yung turning point po natin, we were brought out from the darkness into His marvelous light. Amen. So this concept, brothers and sisters, isa po tayo sa biktima ng mundong ito. Yes, we were so religious before, but we don't really know who is Jesus. Amen. And as part of learning process, brothers and sisters, we are learning from our mistakes. Amen. Alam po natin, brothers and sisters, that we are committing sins. Amen. Wag mo po sabihin that you are committing adultery right now, you are committing fornication, you are committing stealing or murder someone, brothers and sisters, that hindi po, uh, hindi po uh, uh, sumasang-ayon yung ating kalooban. Yes, there are certain times, brothers and sisters, when we fail and we fall under circumstances. But again, it's not an excuse, brothers and sisters. Inahanap po ng Panginoon. Yes, you were there before. Nakaalign po tayo sa ating Panginoon. And it came to a point that now God is calling you. The Master, the Master's voice. You heard the Master's boy, brother, voice, brothers and sisters. So it's up to you. Ano po ang gagawin mo? Tatakbo ka ba against Him? Tatakbo ka ba against our Lord? Nananawagan ng Panginoon, Come, come unto me, all who are heavy, having heavily burdened. And then here we are, brothers and sisters, as if we can... We can live without Jesus Christ. Of course not. And this sheep, brothers and sisters, when he was found, ang sabi po, nagre-rejoice yung shepherd. And po, nagre-rejoice siya. Tinawag niya kayo mga kaibigan. Sabi niya, inahanap ko to, namatay, and then muli itong nabuhay. 
And this is how God works sa ating mga buhay, mga magulat kapatid. God really, really, really wants to see you naka-align at na, nandun po yung directives niya sa ating mga buhay. He doesn't want to leave you nor forsake you in the wilderness. No, that's not the plan of God. Ang plan po ng Panginoon is to prosper us. Ang plan po ng Panginoon is to deliver us from our sins. Amen. So this new life, 180 degrees, yes, nandun ka, lumiis ka. You are not aware. Amen. You are not aware. Amen. Dati po nandun ka and then because yung attraction ng world na ito, nabiktima po tayo. Amen. We were given a false hope. And again, yung Paul ng, ng man, ang Panginoon po ahahanapin niya po tayo. Amen. God will call us and God will find us. And true enough, the, prodig uh, the, the prodigal son, in contrast sa prodigal son, brothers and sisters, yung pong son, siya po ay hindi nawawala. Siya po ay nagwawala. Amen. Totally different. Yung nagwawala, brothers and sisters, umalis po siya sa kanyang tahanan. He was aware 100%. He went away against his father's will. And anong ginawa po niya? Nagpakasasa siya. He, 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 uh, um, he spent all of his belongings until dumating po yung time, yung realization na tinatawag that he was caught in the act. Wala na po siyang matak matak uh, matakbuan, wala na po siyang pera, wala po siyang kaibigan, walang nagmamahal sa kanya. And then ano po ang, ang, ang ginawa niya? Inisip po niya na manumpalik. Siya na po ang naka-experience. And maybe right now, brothers and sisters, you are feeling the same thing. Amen. Baka po, aware ka nung nagtampo ka sa Panginoon. You took all your opportunities. Ano po, yung, yung gusto mo na walang nakikilam sa'yo. You, you want to live as free, as dove. You want uh, yung pong buhay na, na malayo sa Panginoon. Because you are sick and tired singing praises, you are sick, sick and tired of worshiping God. Gusto mo naman na ibang ibang identity. And maybe you experience the same thing, brothers and sisters. Kaya ito pong parable of the prodigal son is totally different. Yung prodigal son, siya po ay nagwawala. Amen. But yung parable of the lost sheep, ito po naman ay sheep na nawala. Totally different. Kaya yung nawala, inahanap po. Inanap siya ng shepherd, yung kanyang master. And when he was found, nag po yung master. But in the parable of the prodigal son, ang nangyari po, siya mismo ang bumalik. Amen. Siya mismo ang nakarealize that he was not aligned with his father. That's why, nagpractice pa po siya eh. Sabi niya, pag bumalik ako sa aking ama, uh, ang gagawin ko is like this, don't treat me like your son, treat me like a servant, treat me like this, this and that. But contrary sa kanya pong uh, isip, brothers and sisters, when he was uh, uh, brought home, o sa po ay umuwi na, brothers and sisters, anong nangyari? The father, the father, when he saw him afar off, ang sabi ng Bible, the father ran, ran, amen. At inanap po niya, or, 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 or pinuntaan niya yung kanyang anak, and that's how God, amen, is waiting for you. Inihintay ka lang po ng Panginoon na manumbalik. Inihintay ka ng Panginoon to come back home. Amen. Yes, I know you are sick and tired. Wala po may pipigay ng, ng pleasure ang, ang sandlipotan ito. Uh, only God can satisfy your needs. Amen. This world will never satisfy your needs, brothers and sisters. Kaya halika na, manumbalik ka na. Because what? The prodigal son, ano po ang, ang, ang nabagay sa Bible, when the father saw him, ang father po tumakbo papunta sa kanyang anak. Amen. And of course, yung pong anak na, 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 na overwhelmed and he was hugged and kissed by his father. And then nung nagsasalita po ang kanyang anak, he was about you know, to say that, Father, I have sinned against you. Father, forgive me. I am not worthy to be called uh, as your son. Amen. Hindi na po siya nakapagsalita. Anong sabi ng kanyang ama? Tinawag niya ang kanyang mga servant, bigyan mo siya ng sandalias, bigyan mo siya ng robe, patayin niyo ang lahat ng mga asno and everything because my, my son was lost and now he was found. Amen. And that's how God works, brothers and sisters. Either the two. Amen. Yung lost ship, inanap po siya ng master. Or maybe ikaw po ay biktima ng prodigal or a prodigal son, brothers and sisters. Amen. So it's time for you to come back home. It's the same. Nagihintay po ang Panginoon. 
Amen. Kaya, if I were you, brothers and sisters, this is the time to reflect. This is the time that you have to go back home and then worship again. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords is waiting for you. Amen. So, hindi, hindi po ito, brothers and sisters, katang isip, this is a parable, amen, of the lost sheep na binigay po ng ating master. Why we need to understand this one? Because we were once like him. Amen. Lost, totally lost in this world. And then nagkaroon po ng realization and then we came back. Bakit ka nanonood ngayon? Bakit ka nandyan? Nakaw po. You are listening. Dapat nasa mundo ka. Dapat nasa discoan ka. Na, dapat nandyan ka sa checkpoint. Nandyan ka sa Angeles City, sa, sa Clark. Nandyan ka dapat sa Jufair. Nandyan ka sa Ermita. Dyan. You know, but how come? Because I know that deep in your heart, you are longing and hunger and thirsty in the Word of God. And that's it, brothers and sisters. Ito na po yung turning point. And I'm excited to see you. Amen. Worshiping with us. Amen. Worshiping and praising the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. And of course, yung second parable in which I think ito po ay importante rin. Amen. I just want to share this wonderful parable para po maunawaan po natin. Amen. Praise God. The second parable, the lost coin. A woman had 10 silver coins. She lost one of the coins. She looked all over the house for it. At last she found the coin. She was very happy. She called her friends and neighbors to tell them. They too were happy that she had found the lost coin. Church leaders and members are like the woman in the story. The lost coin is like a member of the church who does not go to church or try to live the commandments anymore. It is as if they are lost from the church. Jesus Christ wants church members to find any lost brothers or sisters and help them come back to Him. He is very happy when this happens. The friends and neighbors in the story are like the angels of God. The angels are very happy when a person repents. Wow, praise God. So this is very clear, brothers and sisters, the lost coin. Ano po kaya ang relevance ng lost coin? Amen. Now, let's move sa ating pong verse na binasa, the parable of the lost coin. Now, our 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 um, uh, book is taken from the Luke, uh, from the book of St. Luke, chapter number 15, verse 8 to 10. Amen. The parable of the lost coin. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, that not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. And when she had found it, she called it her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is a joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. Amen. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful name of Jesus it is. Amen. Now, the parable of the lost coin. Sino sila? The parable of the lost coin. If you will, uh, um, if you heard the word of God, it is very clear that he, she lost the coin inside the house. Amen. Inside the house, not outside the house, not outside the community. The lost coin was, of course, it's not deliberate and deliberately was uh, lost inside the house. So ano po ang gusto sabihin? These are the people who were already in the church. Yes. You. Ikaw yun. Dati ang init po natin sa Panginoon. We are so warm. Amen. Talagang love na love po natin ng Panginoon. We love Him with all our hearts, with all our might, with all our strength. And all of a sudden, boom. Amen. We lost in the trap. Amen. Nagkaroon na po tayo ng what? Panlalamig. Yan. Like... What, what is going on right now? This COVID crisis, brothers and sisters, is driving us crazy. Ano po, dati, mainit po tayo. And then, all of a sudden, the devil really, uh, binigyan tayo ng mga social distancing so that we can never pray unto God because the devil knows that the, there is a power. There is a power in prayers, brothers and sisters. Kaya nga po, ang, ang mindset ng mga, mga leaders right now is to have social distancing. Social distancing, ano po, uh, bawal lang mga groups, bawal lang mga prayer meetings, bawal lang praise and worship, bawal lang service, bawal ang church. Really, I was really surprised. Amen. 
Because the only way or the only uh, person that we need right now is only our Lord God, Jesus Christ. Amen. So in the parable of the lost coin, ito po yung mga typical na mga worshiper na. Manginip po sila sa ating Panginoon. But because of uncertainties, we don't know, sila po ay nawala. Amen. Nawala sila within the church. These are workers. These are Some of them are elders and some of them are pastors. Amen. They already pastored the church and they were lost. Amen. So ano po ang kailangan, brothers and sisters? Sisenden po natin muli yung candle. Ang candle na yan, amen, signifies the light. Amen. Yan po ay light of Christ. Yung torch of Christ. Amen. Then, nung nakita po na mayari ng bahay, brothers and sisters, she was delighted and she was really blessed. Ang sabi niya, she was rejoicing dahil natagpuan po niya yung kanyang coin. Imagine, that coin was lost inside the vicinity, inside the church. Amen. Maybe right now, you are watching. Dati po, ang init mo sa Panginoon. Dati talagang all in, all out. Ano po, talagang you, your, your life, you gave your life uh, to Jesus Christ. You gave your life, your lahat ng strength mo. And all of a sudden, because of some problems, some issues sa church, then you started to what? Manlamig na po tayo. You started what? You don't want to hear even Pastor Chris uh, mag, mag preach. You don't want to hear uh, Elder Gary or Elder Dennis or si Pastor Esting or si Pastor Marvin. Amen. You found something in the church in which ikaw po ay natisod. Uh, you don't want to go back to church kasi yung mga tao doon, mga hypocrite. Uh, I don't want to see them. Uh, they are not helping me. Nung kailangan ko yung tulong nila, hindi nila ako pinautang. Nung kailangan ko yung tulong nila, kailangan uh, dalhin ako sa hospital. Yung pastor nila, como doctor siya, hindi ako tinulungan, wala siyang oras sa akin. You know, you have so many reasons, brothers and sisters. Amen. But at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, you don't need to blame others. Ikaw po ang nawawala. Yes, ikaw po yung nawawala. Amen. Kaya nga po, you have to stick. Amen. And God wants us, wants me to find all those coins inside the church. Yes, true enough. New life 180 degrees. Kailangan po natin na matagpuan at makita po natin muli ang mga lost coin ng church. Amen. Let's activate those who need God. Let's call our friends, our loved ones again, and then give them the candle, the torch of Christ. Amen. Dahil sila po ay member na ng church. They were already inside the church premises. Kaya nga po, I'm begging you, brothers and sisters, yes, lalong-lalo na kayo na nalalamig sa ating Panginoon. This is not the time na tayo po ay manlamig. This is not the time, brothers and sisters, na mag po tayo sa Panginoon. You already know the scripture. Some of you, naging estudyante ko pa sa New Life 180 Degrees in 2013. Now, because of some reasons, nagtampo ka sa pastor mo, nagtampo ka kay brother, nagtampo ka kay sister, sinong nawalan? Tandaan po natin, brothers and sisters, that we cannot live without Jesus Christ. Don't tell me, ah, sumisamba, sumasamba naman ako sa bahay, I'm praying. No, Hebrews 10.25, my brothers and sisters, wag po natin kakalitaan ang pagtitipon dahil malapit na pong dumating ang Panginoon. So it's time for you and me, again, to recall, sino po kaya ang mga lost coin na ito? And as part ng new life growth, ng 180 degrees, brothers and sisters, God will gonna use you, God will gonna use me, amen, to find those lost coin. Amen. Kaya po, nawa sa, sa gabing ito, brothers and sisters, ito pong lesson three, ay magkakaroon po tayo ng realization, brothers and sisters. Maybe you were one of the lost coin, or maybe you were one of the lost sheep, or most probably you are one of the parable of the prodigal son. Amen. So I know, brothers and sisters, it's just a review, but this is very important concept in which we need, we need to understand that we are, we are dealing with three different people. Amen. My lost sheep, my prodigal son, and my lost coin. Those three persons that are in the church or outside the church, kailangan po natin silang maintindihan. Kailangan po natin silang maunawaan. Amen. We are not here to judge people. We are not here to condemn people. Amen. Kahit gano'n man po 
ang ginawa niyang kasalanan, gano'n man po kaw kawalang hiya niya, binastos kanya or whatever, brothers and sisters, give it all to Jesus Christ. Yes, it's time for us to forgive. Amen. 70 times 7, sabi nga po ng ating Panginoon. Amen. But, hindi naman po nangangulugan na kapag ka ikaw po ay nakapasok ng church at magpapatuloy ka sa pagkakasala, sana wag naman po. Amen. Kapag nasa church na po tayo, let's give our life totally sa ating Panginoon. Let's give our life to Jesus. Wala po mawawala sa iyo. Wag po 50-50. Wag 75. Wag 90. It should be 100%. Hindi pwedeng 99.9%. It should be 100% that you are willing to give your life with Jesus Christ. Amen. So, that's it, brothers and sisters. Ito po ang ating uh, lesson number three na pag-aaral sa ating New Life 180 Degrees. It's very short, but I know, brothers and sisters, that you can use this tool. Amen. Pagka nag-graduate na po kayo sa New Life Series 180 Degrees, Amen. Uh, yung introductory part natin, naintindihan na po natin, yung pong ating uh, spiritual checkup. Of course, uh, you uh, must know how healthy you are spiritually. Amen. And of course, ito pong ating parable of the lost sheep and lost coin. And back to back, of course, inad ko po yung parable of the prodigal son. Amen. So it's up to us, brothers and sisters, on how we carry the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we will, we will meet these people. We will identify these people. Amen. Wag po tayo ma-discourage. Amen. Wag po tayo mawala ng pag-asa. Ay, ayaw niyang bumalik, ayaw niyang ganyan, ganyan. You have to understand that Jesus Christ gave us some principles. Amen. Yung mga parable na yan upang maintindihan po natin that those three persons, ang Panginoon po ay inahanap niya. At sino po ang gagamitin ng Panginoon to lead them? You and me. We. We are responsible para mawin po natin ang lordship, ang parable ng prodigal son, and of course, ang ating pong mga lost coin brothers and sisters. So salamat po sa lessons 3 ng ating pong New Life 180 Degrees. I hope and pray na kayo pong lahat ay uh, na-bless at natuwa. Amen. Sa ating pong munting series na ito. And hopefully brothers and sisters, next week po ay makita-kita po tayo muli. Amen. Sa ating pong fourth series in which very importante po ang ating talakayan next week. So please tune in. Huwag po kayong mawawala. Salamat po at mapagpalang gabi. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen.